All right, y'all, welcome back. It's Albert LaBelle, and yes, I am still in the current location. I have not moved yet. Um, but what I will do is I will update my uh, on the About tab on my homepage. I will eliminate the uh, mailing address for right now until I get moved, and I will update that. So if you've already sent something this way, I'll probably be here long enough to get it, but... Uh, uh, till further notice, don't send anything to me without contacting me first, all right? Thank you. Uh, so what do we got here? We got this Brinks. Don't even remember where I got it, but obviously it was a thrift store or something. It's got a little price written in pen, two ninety seven. dollars uh, Combination lock. Looks like I already opened it up. It must have been in my drawer for quite some time. But your basic, very cheap, what is this, Brinks combination lock. 2,000 pounds it would take to cut it. 600 pounds with a crowbar. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, that's if it's really hardened. Uh, we can try that. What's the uh, 34, 39, 12? That's highly uh, confidential, so uh, don't remember that, okay? Because I'm going to use this. Just kidding. 34, 39, 12. 34, 39, 12, 34, go past the 39 once, 39, and then right to the 12, boom, so, let's just see if it's really hard and just for fun. Absolutely not. That's cutting right into that. That's way past the chrome. <laughs> way past the chrome. I'll give it a couple more wax. I mean, you can hear it. It's not sliding off the metal. It's digging in. Oh, yeah. That's not hardened. I mean, they can put hardened on there because it's slightly hardened, I guess. But, yeah. I don't know about that, uh... 2,400 pounds of uh, bolt cutter force. Yeah, I don't know about that, but you can see how easy that little file is just cutting right into that. But um, I haven't spent much time trying to figure out how to decode these. I know I've seen a couple people do it, and then there's those people that they already know the number, you know, so they're showing they decode it, but they really didn't, you know. So I wouldn't put too much faith in all that, but you don't have to do any of that if... You've got some of these very standard padlock shims. These are these here are from Sparrows, so they're a, a better quality. They're folded steel, as you can see right there. They fold the steel over, and it's a pretty good steel. So I do recommend the Sparrows ones. Um, you can find quality ones other places, but like I said, I uh, I like the Sparrows ones. So just flip that around. We know it's locked. Grab a couple of these dudes that are long enough. See if I can get some in here. Flip that around. Another big dude. If I can get them in there. It does seem pretty tight, but there we go. Flip that around. And boom. You're done. So, you don't have to fuss with that dial. You don't have to fuss with anything. Just get you a couple of, or a set of these uh, padlock shims. You can see these all come in different sizes. I mean, the set does. So yeah, padlock shims, bada boom, bada bang, you're done. <laughs> so yeah, I wouldn't put too much faith in this type of lock. All right, so that's it. The Brinks combination padlock. Uh, so yeah, I will update, like I said, my about tab. So if you've already sent something, it should be safe. But uh, till further notice, don't send nothing my way without contacting me first, please, because I will be relocating. So, that's it. Thank you all so much, so much for tuning in. Remember, if you're not subscribed yet, you need to do so because all the cool people are doing it. And you want to be cool, right? Thank you so much.